as we've been tracking in this pandemic, a lot of the recovery, especially if you listen to uh, Fed Chair Jerome Powell, the recovery is tied back to how well we're able to handle uh, this second surge here of the coronavirus, uh, especially as cases continue to rise here uh, heading into the winter months. And that's exactly the same thing we heard from Philadelphia uh, Fed President Patrick Harker uh, speaking today, echoing a lot of those concerns as well, saying it all ties back uh, if we can keep this outbreak limited. And here to discuss that renewed thinking here with us is Yahoo Finance's Fed reporter, Brian Chung. Brian, it sounds like everybody's really on the same page here. Everything ties back to the pandemic. It does. And uh, today is a parade of Fed speak when we consider that there are five members of the Federal Open Market Committee making remarks today. It means that we'll get a full picture, really, of what a lot of these Fed officials think about where the economy is headed right now. So as you mentioned, Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker making remarks earlier this morning. He did say that the recovery, quote, will continue, though not fast enough, end quote, for a GDP to really come back to pre-pandemic form, at least by the end of this year. Keep in mind that the median member of the FOMC does still see GDP contracting by over 3%. For the year 2020, we also heard from Dallas Fed President Robert Kaplan, who said that he could see the case for keeping rates near zero, quote, at least until uh, late 2022 or 2023. Uh, that actually appears to be even an earlier timeline than a lot of other members of the FOMC who could even see rates being at that level uh, through longer than that period of time. And then actually just a few minutes ago, New York Fed President John Williams saying, uh, quote, the economy is still in a very weak place with high unemployment, and that's what we're focused on. But he did say that he is optimistic that the economy is on a reasonably good trajectory. Uh, again, we also have Randall Quarles from the Fed board, in addition to Rich Claire to making remarks today. Uh, some of their remarks were more focused on regulatory supervisory related issues, but it does seem like it, as you mentioned, Zach, the overall theme from the Federal Reserve is they've got rates in near zero. It'll be that way, at least for the medium term, and that they're looking for uh, those inflationary pressures to moderately overshoot its 2% target, in addition to a tightening labor market before they even start to think about thinking about raising rates down the line. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.